Yo, what's good guys? Today, let's watch some Mr. Beast. I haven't watched like a Mr. Beast video in years, bro. But yeah, let's watch $1 versus a $100 million car. Behind me are the most let's expensive see. cars in the world. No joke, we got our hands on over $250 million worth of cars. One of them even costing $100 million. And we're gonna be exploding, sailing, driving, and even flying all of these cars to show you why they're so expensive. Starting with this Damn. $1 car. Literally a rust bucket. Really? Why are you selling this car for a dollar. Well, you see, it's pretty much worthless. And I can't put any time or money in this thing. If you grab this dollar, the deal is final. Now, obviously, wow. this is a piece of garbage. But when you spend 20 k That's some cool car parts. All right, let's get this bad boy started. 20K? Wow. Are they going to jump off? Oh, obviously not. Oh. All right. Well, that was the one dollar car. Glad I wasn't in that. Bring in the wow. hundred thousand dollar car, which drives itself. No joke. No. Tesla's costs a hundred thousand. Let's see what a hundred grand gets you. There's a lot of room in this. Car. Wow. This is one of the few cars that can actually fit all my kids. Oh, who's this girl? What the hell is this, Chris? I haven't seen these guys in the line all year. This guy looks different. Yeah, all of them. Let's take it for a little spin. The real reason you're buying a Tesla is because it can drive itself. All right, I'm no longer driving the car. Oh, it's switching lanes. Whoa! It is literally driving itself. My feet are not touching the gas, and I'm not touching the steering wheel. I kind of want one of these, though, to be honest. No, don't do that. Oh, okay. Now, let's see how fast the car can go. It jerks you backwards. That's terrifying. This is just the beginning. Later, we have a car that Damn. literally transforms into an airplane and flies. But now... Oh, look at that Lambo. Oh, I almost hit it. <laughs> oh, I just left the keys in here? How'd nobody wow. Steal? And even though this costs twice as much, it has half as much oh. space. I don't know if I'd pay 200 k Wait, only 20k? That, it. that is actually good. Lamborghini? How do we do Ford? I think you just click the shifter. All right. And now we're on the road. Oh, that sound. Oh my gosh, she sounds angry. Dang, she's got some power. Oh my gosh, this car is insane. I'm barely touching the gas and we're flying. This might be the fastest car I've ever driven. If you need to compensate for something, this is definitely the car. And now we are at the 300. I'd probably get a Lambo too. And this is supposedly the safest Ooh. car on the planet. It's like a tank. Is this a military grade car? <laughs> yeah, this is so hot. Jeez, this is like some alien type stuff. <laughs> Ooh. Let's go over what makes this car so safe. First things first is the bulletproof windows that are this thick. The car is also encased in ex No way this is bulletproof though. Like I kind of doubt this for a reason because it'd be like, oh, I mean, it could be bulletproof, but not bomb proof. Definitely a bomb is going to shatter gonna this thing. The test later on. Carl, do you want to press the button? Uh, so bad. Do you want to hit the smoke screen button? Please. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. That is crazy. Whoa. We have a literal. Damn, you gotta have ops, like bad ops to be carrying this thing around. But the best part is if I was a rapper, I'd buy this. It's the literal explosive proof frame around the car. And we're gonna be the first people to test it. And for reference, before we blow up the Are they gonna go inside? We're gonna blow up a normal car to see if the passengers survive. Three, two, one. Oh, I think they survived. They gotta survive that one. Oh. It doesn't handle it well at all. And before we blow up this car, I'm gonna put feastables inside of it. Better protect my freaking chocolate. So supposedly this car is explosion proof, but that's never been tested. Let's see if the mannequins and even more. Never? How would you say? It, it, it might survive, but. Ooh. Did the tires burst? Because if the tires burst, it let's see. With only a few minor scrapes. It put a dent in the window. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where are the Feastables? Chandler, get out the way. Chandler, the Feastables survived. If you're looking for a car that can take a bomb, I officially recommend wow. this one. Wow. But since we're not... Sheesh, that was a good one. Damn. 300k, that's actually worth... That's a better investment, but you gotta have, like, bad enemies that want to kill you to buy that, because... 
two hundred thousand dollars, you can get this five hundred thousand dollar boat car. On land, this is a normal car. You can't really tell the difference. But here's the fun part: just drive it in the water, and it turns into a boat. We're gonna let Carl go first. Here we go! Oh, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel right. I'm having them go first just so I can make sure it works. Are we sinking? No, we're floating. Oh, it looks like it worked. Let's see what happens. Oh my God, we're going. We're driving in the water. Holy! So you press this until you hear a beep. Wait. That's a beep. Now I should be able to drive this like a normal car, but on the water. Okay, oh, guys. Five hundred thousand. I'm not paying that much for a boat car when there's a car that that can be blown by explosives and st still not get destroyed. Five hundred k, nah, bro. No one's that curious about oh, boats yeah. that much. But 400k, I take it. This was literally a car five seconds ago. Yeah! You know, I would be out there with him, but uh, damn. car sick and boat sick. Oh, we're getting there. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Oh, my God. All right, Carl. Nah, but this has got to be a flex, though. But 500k, it looks like some military boat. My goodness. This thing goes way too fast. I can't think of a better way to celebrate a win than a feastables bar. Hey, out to feastables. Wow. Oh, hey, I got it. Feastables is the best chocolate on the planet. If you're not eating it, you should fix that. The fact that all. Sheesh. Nah, this has got to be like. Who do they make these cars for? The government, obviously, but. Wow. She. Well. For like 90% of everybody on earth, these cars aren't for us, are just for us to watch, but... The ocean is insane. Jimmy, I love this thing so much. And the craziest part is, this is just the beginning of this video. The next car on our list can literally fly. And since I'm afraid of heights, I let Carl and Nolan take this one. 600k? Dude, what is happening? This car is not only just get a plane, just get a helicopter. It has wings that can take you literally 8,000 feet in the sky. There's literally a propeller on that car. Stay here and watch it take off. I'm gonna go in that plane and follow it. I just don't believe that this is actually gonna fly. It's taking off! The wheels aren't on the ground anymore! It's literally a car that's flying! These cars are getting crazy. Damn. Shoeham back in like 19 something. Everybody was like, they're going to have like flying. No, not even 19. Like 2018 or 15. Everybody was like, flying cars, bro. They're going to start making them. And now look. And I can't even believe my eyes. But yeah, none of us are ever going to buy this. A lot of us. It's not a st oh. oh, it's an edit. Oh my goodness, that tripped me up. a lot of $1 million cars out there. So to make sure I brought your favorite, we got the 10 coolest $1 million cars. And as per usual, we have the entire racetrack to ourselves. So I let my friends choose whatever car they wanted. I'm going to just ride with you. You pick. Bruh, at this point, I want to be Mr. Beast's friend too. What the hell? Dude, this is lit. A million. Wow. Everybody's dream car is over here somewhere. Damn, but mine was that one dollar car he destroyed. Am I gonna fit in this? All right, I'll try not to text and drive. It's private property. It's technically legal here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, jinx it. I feel like I'm in NASCAR. I'm having so much fun. This feels like Fast and Furious. There's just something so masculine about driving overpriced, loud cars. On a private racetrack. On a private racetrack. <laughs> Hold on, I got a set of texts. Wow. No, I'm oh, bruh, stop with these edits. These guys are literally scaring me. What was the budget of this video? This $2 million limited edition hydrogen car. No joke, this 
Oh, Andrew T has this thing. And actually exhales drinkable water as exhaust. But the car is still being developed. So this is just a prototype. I don't think I've ever struggled this much to get in a car. Is that a Bugatti or something? Ooh. Bro, I'm not even a car fan, but I want a car. Oh. Damn, man. Dude, I don't want that two thousand dollar Honda anymore, man. I want, I want a, I want this two million dollar baby. I guess manifest, bro. But sheesh. We're about to turn on the road. This is a really big deal because this car is this not a Bugatti? Oh, you should have told me before I got in. They built this car as a proof of concept, so driving it on the road is questionable. Oh, look at that lady over there. That person over there is literally filming our car. <laughs> I'd wear a seatbelt, but it doesn't have one. They haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> the folding screen. Oh, what? Bro, this boy gets up there. Yeah. Even though this car uses hydrogen instead of gas, it still has a range of over a thousand miles and a top speed of 221 miles per hour. And another cool. Alyssa Stop. What? That's such a cool sound. There's a lot of cars around me and everyone. Get away from my two million dollar car. <laughs> I'll see you at the next car. Back at the racetrack, we have the most exotic and powerful car yet. Costing ten million dollars, this Koenigsegg Vader is the only one in existence. So this is the world's fastest. Bro, no car should cost ten million, bro. And it's probably not bomb proof like the other cars I just saw. This is this is just this is sick. I wonder like how if wow, why am I out of words? Production car. Oh what? My God. And with literal crushed diamonds in the carbon. Body, That's got to be carbon. Driving. That's probably the coolest door I've ever seen in my life. You're crazy. What if he I breaks it? Fun fact, I made a girl Ten million though, he's got. Yeah, I scared the crap out of him. <laughs> I'm gonna put my head back so I don't get whiplash. How is it so fast? I never. One second. <laughs> The reason this car is one of the fastest on the planet is because of its twin turbocharged V8 engine and the fact that it's entire how, how fast does it go? Core carbon fiber, making it weigh 500 pounds Sheesh. less than a Lamborghini. I've never witnessed anything like this before. How fast does it go though? Say the speed. Say the speed. Oh my goodness, I would not want to ride in here. How, 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 what's the speed? What's the speed? <laughs> What's the speed? Jay Leno was the king of the Tonight Show for over 20 years. Today, he's the proud owner of one of the most impressive car collections in the world, including this 20. Damn, man, I want to start a car collection now. Sheesh. Okay, I know I'm riding, um, riding all these things, but <sighs> this does not look like it's worth 20 million, though. Ew. Ew. What? It's gotta not. Did, did it just start doing that because of you? It's high tech. <laughs> Robbers, don't try that. And what makes it so valuable? It's a V12 carbon fiber. It's extremely light, and it was 241 miles an hour, which is still the fastest for a non turbocharged, non supercharged car. I'll show you something kind of cool. It got three seats, as you can see. Wow. The car is about 2,300 pounds. Your most modern cars are 4,000. It's more comparable to Nolan's mom than another car. That's right, exactly. In fact, Nolan's mom was really the one they used. As the benchmark, <laughs> you guys want to go for a ride? Uh, of course. There's no way getting in that wow. seat is actually comfortable. Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. It does not look bad at all. It's comfortable. <laughs> this is some super movie. The car is. The car looks pretty cool, but I would not pay twenty million for it. It is pretty interesting. No the ten million dollar car looks way better. He, like. This car? What year were you born? 1998. Actually, I got this in 98. I popped out of my mom, and he's like, you know what? Let's celebrate by buying this That's car. That's right. Now here's the second part. I'm your dad. Oh. <laughs> oh. Interesting. How much did you buy this for? I paid 800,000. Wow. And I bought it, and people thought, oh, you'll never get your money back. In. But then it just went up and up and up and up, and now they're 20 million dollars. You know, so it's it's crazy. Wow. This car basically made you a million dollars a year every year you've owned it. I guess that's fair to say, yeah. Carl, what do you think of the car? Sheesh. I like it. What's stopping you from buying one? Well, 1998 was still like was still um. <laughs> Advanced. Yeah. Sheesh. I've had a lot of rare. 
in this car? No problem, guys. That was perfect. These next two cars are so expensive that they are literally locked away in a museum at all times. Combined, they cost $80 million, and somehow we convinced the museum to give us the cars. Looking good. And this is where the video gets literally mind-blowing. Crank this bad boy up. How much did they pay? Oh, That's wow. the 30 miller. Let's hear the 50 miller. Not gonna lie, I like the $50 million one a little better. So I jumped in the $50 million car with Donut Media, and Chandler got in the $30 million car with... Yeah, but no way I'm paying $50 million for this rat ratchet of a car. Okay, guys, I know you, you, you. a lot of you love history. A lot of old heads, they're like, but, but, um... It's a Porsche 1906. Uh, it's a it's a Lamborghini 1907, dude. Nowadays we got like cars almost going like almost 300 miles an hour, and I'm gonna pay for that scrawny little thing, bro. You car fans, forgive me, but I don't see the hype. The car legend. You ready? Are you ready? I don't see the hype behind these. They better be going like a thousand miles an hour. Because it was specifically constructed as a gift from the founder of Ferrari to the founder of Ford. This is the only version of yeah, you Ferrari see. ever made in human history. Oh, watch out for this bump. No scrapage. Okay. That's why it's expensive. It's just history. It's just, just history. There's really nothing special about them. The car we're in is the most why did it stop? Jeez, this is how like crappy the street is until you drive something that's fifty million dollars. The car we're in is the most expensive Jaguar in existence. It was the legendary actor Steve McQueen's daily driver, and he got so many speeding tickets driving it that his license was actually suspended. I'm noticing every single pothole now. And because these cars are so expensive, we have an entire police escort dedicated to making sure nobody comes close to the cars. This is insane. Hey, get some speed. Uh, how's it drive? Beautifully. Woo! Oh, my hat! Oh, well. <laughs> and while we were all having fun, Bo Bachman pushed the $30 million car to its absolute limit. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on, the car stopped. Hold on one second. We hit it too, too hard. <laughs> the $30 million car stalled. We're going to hop out of these things before we break them. Let's go drive the $100 million world's first Ferrari. Most people would imagine a $100 million car would look something like this. Bro, no car is worth $100 million, man. I'm sorry, but there's just, there's like hundreds of millions and billions of people who are never going to make that in their whole lifetime, let alone even a million. And, and sheesh, this car better bring someone back to life if it's $100 million, because what? This car is so historic and valuable that this museum representative is the only person on earth allowed to drive it. It's only allowed to be driven on this bridge. We had cops completely close the roads, and we even had street cleaners fill in every pothole and clean the entire street to ensure that nothing damages this $100 million car. This is gonna be crazy! All right. I tell you, bro, it's literally the history that makes these cars worth money. If, like, if uh, Honda or Ford just shut down and made their last car, that car in a few years would be like $200 million or something because people are just so obsessed with history. I tell you, nothing is cool about this car. Personally, like I'm not gonna ride this car and, and like be like, oh my goodness, it's such a nice car. Like, wow, wow. It's just the history. So it, it's 100 million because history. But aside from that, no car is worth that much. As you can see, the really fast, cool cars, they were like around a million, two million. Aside from that, that was it. All the ones that are above, it's just bridge. history. Oh my God. Look at that. A hundred million dollars barreling down the street. And it can barely move. <laughs> Isn't that hot? He lost his hat. <laughs> That's the second time. Isn't that ironic? A hundred, wow. A hundred million dollars is crazy, bro. Wow.
they got some perfect editing right there, but sheesh, guys. What in the world? <laughs> Definitely no 